Now, you've accomplished so many goals. Like, so what is your New Year's... Do you have a new goal for this year? Oh, uh, well, Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, no, I think, for me, I always just try to... It's kind of like the, the, the mindset of an athlete. I try to mm. come back a better person every year, if that makes sense. Yes. Um, play a lot of different roles, and so trying to be a better executive, be a better leader internally. Um, I guess what I would say, a better father, because I have children. Mm -hmm. And um, ultimately, just trying to perfect my craft. You know, you can always get better, right? You yes. can never not get better at something. And so, but, but not to put too much pressure on myself. I don't think that's good either. No, I love that. I think yeah. that's a good perspective. I always say you'll see me get better at life. And you're the CEO and founder of Clutch Sports. What is it like running a sports agency? Well, I mean, it's a service business, so um, every day is different. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you deal with a lot of uh, young, talented, very monetarily successful young men and women. Uh, you've had Asia on your show. Yes. We, 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 we represent that. Asia. And, um, and then at the same time, also their families. And so it's a very in-depth business. It's not as easy as people may think. It's much more than just going to games and sitting courtside. That's, it's, that's like, that couldn't be more of a not what the job is right. type of description. Um, but it's something that you have to be passionate about and love. I was a, you know, growing up, I was an athlete, played every sport. So I always loved the game. And then the bigger piece for me is education. So helping these guys understand that they're more than just an athlete and helping Love their families that. understand that. And so really kind of, you know. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So that's, 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 that, that to me is what, it's what keeps, me, keeps me inspired by, by the business. That's awesome. Helping people. I have to ask this because my son wants to be a basketball player, so who better to talk to than you, right? So I was curious to know, like, what do you guys look for to want to even sign a player, to, you know what I mean, have an agency? How do you know yeah. who's special, who got it? Well, it, there's a lot of factors to it. In the beginning, obviously, when you don't have any clients, you got to get what you can get, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so the talent is always going to be the thing that, that trumps everything else for the most part. Today, we look for something different. Uh, today, I think the talent and the character have to align. Mm because that's so important. Because you know, you can work a very thankless job and none of us want to work a thankless job, right? Mm -hmm. So f for us today, we're blessed enough to be able to be extremely selective. In my position, I'm definitely even more selective than I've ever been before, uh, just because we have been able to build such a great roster. And then ultimately, you have professionalism. You know, mm -hmm. you have an open-mindedness, a willingness to learn and listen. And, and there's no sense of having someone represents you if you're not going to listen to the advice that they're putting in front of you. Because right. that's why a president has a cabinet. That's why you have your team, Great you know. Point. So, you know, we look at those things today. Yeah. Okay. This is good insight, because there's a lot of, you know, future players out there. And, and your son want to be a player, but he should also, as he's playing and striving to be a professional athlete, look at the ecosystem around the game, because there's also other jobs within the space mm. that actually have more longevity. In like the what? Space Give as me well. an example. I mean, he can be an executive at the highest level and for any organization, any team per se, and those deals are guaranteed as well. And you probably have a five to 10 year run versus hoping you make it to the NBA. It's much right. harder, right? right. So. Yeah. This is good advice. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Okay, and I love this. LeBron wrote the foreword for your New York Times best-selling book. He did, yeah. Book, yes. Lucky yeah. Me. Uh, like, I mean, and you got great fashion games. So, like, you know, do you, do you coach LeBron on his fashion too? You know, I, that, you know I, surprisingly, that was one of my first jobs because I don't know if you know the story, but I didn't have a role. Mm. He told me I didn't have a role. He didn't have a role for me. And so instead of me being discouraged by that, I just decided to create value anywhere I could for him, right? And so I was a stylist to, to start. That's what was my, one of my first jobs. Look at that. And there's a chapter in there called Iron Your Clothes. And, and I took the idea of ironing my clothes, mm -hmm. being very detail-oriented, turned that into a business, but that gave me my passion for, for fashion. And then once that, once that bug bites you, you, you know, you kind of bit, you kind of hooked. And so... 
Wow. So you met LeBron through your style. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, uh, um, I had a, a certain jersey on that he just so happened to be watching the video before he left his house to the airport. That was the last thing he saw. So then I come to the airport and here I am with this same jersey on. So fate would have it that way. But yeah, that's what started. We, we're not like fake cousins. I didn't grow up with, you know. <laughs> I uh, cleared up, we yeah. like, ain't fake cousins. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, that's what was the initial thing. And then over time, we started to really, you know, when you read the forward, you start to understand why we became even closer friends and things like that. And so it's been great. And he's, you know, supported me and as well as all the other athletes that, that we represent, right? And so there's a common bond that is much more than just player mm -hmm. agent with me. For sure. So, where do you get your business right. frame of mind from? Uh, growing up in my dad's store, um, my community, I was lucky enough, you know, part of the title, I was lucky enough to have my father uh, own a store in which I worked in. Mm -hmm. and, and at that time, you get to you see all walks of life. And I learned from all type of people. My dad taught me that no matter where someone is today, don't never look at them and don't think that you can't learn from that yes. person. Thank you. And, uh, and so in the book, you understand my dad taught me how to uh, gamble when I was a kid. And it wasn't like going to Vegas gambling. Uh -huh. It was really, he was really trying to help us prepare for when you got laid off from one job and you were trying to get the next job. Uh -huh. That time in between having some type of trade, so to speak, to help you put food on the table still or put gas in your car, et cetera. So he, we had a pair of dice and a deck of cards and he sh taught us how to gamble. And so for me, I was the only one in my family that really took that and made that. That was actually like my second job. I, I just fell in love with it. And so the same way I did sports, I literally fell in love with that. Yeah. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.